And the third method is when the relation between roots of the equation is given. Suppose, suppose if the roots of equation if the roots of equation are in AP. Suppose if the roots of equation are in AP, taken roots are taken roots are a minus a d a a plus a d in a p the roots be taken as a minus a d a a plus a d first find the value of s1 s1 means sum of roots sum of roots and s3 s3 means sum product of three roots product of roots we get the values of a comma d we get the values of a comma d. Suppose if the roots of equation are in AP, or in AP taken the roots are a minus d comma a comma a plus d. For finding the roots of equation, first find S1. S1 means we get a value of a. S1 means we get a value of a and S3. S3 means product of roots. Product of roots that is equal to a of a square minus d square. Using these conditions, we find the value of small a and small d. Substitute the values in the roots a minus a d, a, a plus a d. And next one, suppose if the roots are, suppose if the roots of equation are in GP, if the roots of equation are in GP, taken roots are, taken roots are, a by r comma a comma a r. In GP roots are taken as a by r comma a comma a r. For finding the roots, first find the value of S3. S3 means product of roots. That is alpha beta gamma is equal to a by r into a into a r. Here r r gets cancelled. That is equal to a q. That is equal to a q. And next you go to sum of the roots. That is S1 is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to A by R plus A plus AR. A by R plus A plus AR. We get the values of A comma R. A comma. Substitute the values in the roots. We get the roots of the equation.